Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you guys are new, my name is Gabriel and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Marvel Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. This is set number 76148 for ages 6 and up with 234 pieces and 3 minifigures and this was released in 2020 for around $20 in the United States. I got this for my 15th birthday 2 years ago in 2020 and we're going to open it up now and see what we got inside. I... Whoops, I did open it when I got it, and I just repackaged it for the purpose of this video. So, here we go. Let's see what we got. And there we go. Bag one and bag two, just like it came with before. And the instructions. There's, I believe there should be a sticker sheet. But, uh, I already applied the stickers because I already built the set. But, now that we got that open, we can get into the speed build. So now that we've finished building the set, we can take a look at the minifigures. So we have two minifigures, or no, three minifigures included in this set. Two of them are exclusive to this set, while one of them tends to be extremely common. We got Spider-Man, Spider-Girl, and Dr. Octopus, so we'll take a look at them in that order. Now starting off with Spider-Man, he is the one that is extremely common. This is the 2019 design for Spider-Man, so... And so, and that makes this the 17th design for Lego Spider-Man that we've ever gotten. And he comes with this accessory, which is uh, a pair of web ham handcuffs, which don't really go to him, but I don't have anyone else to give them to, and they come into play later on, so I'll show you guys that later. Now, the design is pretty cool, but I really do not like the face print. I just don't like how the webs are... Or, and not just the face print, but like the torso design as well, where the re the uh, the webs like on his mask and stuff are dark red, so you can't really see him that well. Whereas the newer design from 2020, I think, no, 2021, has black webs, and it looks a lot cooler. And I don't like the eyes either. The eyes are just so wacky. It is definitely different. It is very different from any of the other Spider-Mans we've gotten. It's just definitely not my favorite at all. He does have dual mode legs though, which is pretty good. Uh, he does. He has come in other uh, sets without dual molded legs, but this one does, and, and that's pretty cool. Nice to get that. No printed arms or anything like that, but you can see the back torso print and the front torso print in, and he even has back head print in like I showed you earlier. And he comes in quite a bit of sets. He comes in about seven sets, and that is the 2019 Spider-Man Bike Rescue, the 2019 Spider-Man Spider-Crawler, the Spider-Mech vs. Venom from 2019 as well, the 2020 Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock, the 2020 Spider-Jet vs. Venom Mech, and the 2020 Venom Source Ambush, and the 2020 Venom Crawler. So quite a bit of sets, but this figure is definitely discontinued. I don't think he is putting sets anymore because we did get a new better design and he goes for around three dollars now our next figure here is spider girl and this is the 2020 version of spider girl we did get another one in the bridge battle but uh she was a different design she was red or her suit was red this one's completely different this one's from the comics i don't not in any movies or cartoon that i've seen but it is a very unique and very cool design. The only thing exclusive about her is the torso and face printing, and no leg printing or arm printing or anything of the such. She comes with these uh, web 
uh, accessories, which you can use on Spider-Man as well. There's some uh, builds with the web pieces in white, so that's nice to get. I wonder if I can zoom out a bit so you can see them. Yeah, there they are. And then uh, she uses the normal brown ponytail uh, hair piece over the mask. No back face printing, I don't believe. Yeah, so it's just that. And she is one of the exclusive figures in this set. And she goes for around $11, which is crazy. Now, the last figure we have here is the villain of the set, and he's Dr. Octopus. This is the ninth design for LEGO Dr. Octopus, and not really my favorite. It's not really, like, the build or anything like that. It's just, like, the design, like, the suit and stuff. It's based off of the comics. I just don't like the colors with the green and the dark yellow. It just doesn't really look good. They, uh, they made a newer design for 2021 with, like, the dark green and the gray, and that actually looks a lot better. But this one only comes in one set. He is the other exclusive figure, which I thought he came in more, but I guess not. They, they're using the newer designs for that. He comes with two $100 bills that he just robbed. There's no bank or anything, no build for an ATM or anything like that. So he just has them in his hands. And I can show you the other feature I was talking about with the web handcuffs. They have a little pull connection right there, and you just slide them over the hands like that of the villains. I don't see how that, that would work with Dr. Octopus because he has all these extra arms. And these are all connected to that neck attachment we got introduced with in Avengers Infinity War, I believe, for the Outriders. And so these are all clipped on like this. And then they are built using clip hinges and uh, these little... Uh, I forgot what pieces they are, little claw pieces or whatever. And so those can hold on to things. And I don't really, I don't like this hair. Um, it keeps falling off, like it's super loose. I didn't even, look, I didn't have any trouble pulling it on or off. But I noticed that if you look closely in the hair piece, this one is cracked. Like right there, it's chipped. So that's why it's not working. So it's not like it's a faulty um, design or anything. It's just my brother must have cracked it because he played with this a lot. And there are some sticker designs on the arms, which are pretty cool. I like those. And he also has an alternate face where he looks a bit concerned, like his plan was foiled and didn't work out. And he also has back torso print as well, so if you take off the neck attachment, we can spin around. You can see that that is where the arms come out. And that's pretty cool that they put in effort for back torso print, and although most of it is covered up by this neck attachment. And this guy, like I say, is exclusive and goes for around $10, which is pretty hefty price. One thing I forgot to mention with Doc Ock here is that you also get uh, some more web pieces. So when I was uh, talking about how like you handcuff his hands and his arms are still free, well you have these other web pieces that you can use to like trap his arms to a street lamp or something, just splat in them there and splat the other one over there. So you get a couple extra web pieces and these are the extra web pieces, the other ones are put together in web builds. And you can't, he still has control of his other two arms, so that's, it's still a wonky, but I forgot to mention those pieces. So, so we get one build in the set, and that is the spider bike. Wait, no, no, the spider crawler. Wait, no. This is, this is like a mix between the Spider-Man bike rescue and the Spider-Man uh, spider crawler set combined together, and I don't like it at all. I mean, actually... No, I, I do kind of like the design. It's better than the original spider bike that we got in with that uh, spider bike set, the Carnage one that had Miles in it. I mean, it's not the original one, but, you know, the one with that first Spider-Man design. And then after that was a spider crawler. And then we have this one, like a mix of two of them. I don't, I don't really know why Spider-Man would have a bike with legs. It's just kind of like a weird and odd design and spider-man has lots of weird and odd vehicles in the lego universe lego tends to think of spider-man as batman i don't know why we can't bat can't get batman sets like that dc fans aren't getting a lot of lego sets but this is it actually does have kind of a cool design from one standpoint but for those who are thinking of it like technically like spider-man wouldn't need a vehicle like this then yeah it's kind of weird it has lots of stickers everywhere with one on the front here for some eyes a really cool spider-man design uh right there with the handlebars you get two of these ones over here off to the sides and then there is one on the back for this um part i don't know what it's called i'm not a 
car person or a motorcycle person but this moves up and down on hinge clips I like to keep it down there it's got some headlight or not headlights but like tail lights which is pretty cool and then you can fit spider-man on here he stands up right here on these two studs and then he leans forward and grabs onto the handlebars where he can steer the thingy so that's pretty cool it rolls very smoothly which is nice it's always nice to get a vehicle set that rolls very well or by vehicle like a car set there's some weird studs on the side i don't know why those are there maybe just to add extra detail but one main play feature of this is that the legs pop off like that and that is the main motorcycle, which now it definitely looks dumb. It, it looks like a very dumb build without the legs. It looks way better with the legs. And it has these uh, stud shooters on the sides, and you know how those work. You push on the trigger, and they shoot. I, I've just I've recently discovered that if I shoot towards the back of my backdrop here, <laughs> that I don't have to worry about them getting lost. And then you see the engine piece right there, and then you also have the silver ingot piece, one by two ingot piece right there on the sides. And you got some uh, vent pieces over here, so uh, lots of silver pieces, which is pretty cool. It's nice getting the silver handlebars. But one other thing you can do with these legs is now that they're un uh, now that they're detached from the thing, what can you do with them? Well, you can stick them together to make another vehicle. Now there are two vehicles in the set, and this is for Spider-Girl to sit in. Or she can drive the motorcycle and Spider-Man can sit in the legs, it doesn't matter. But she can just sit right there and walk around in the spider legs, which is super weird. I don't know if I have her sitting in it the right way. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, she's sideways, my bad. Like that. Now it kind of looks like a spider, which is a bit weird. I don't know why it's sideways like this, because you got these tiny legs there. Unless these are supposed to be the only legs and these are like fangs or something. You got some web pieces clipped on there which is gives it some more design. And you can see the underside of this. It's uh, got like a web kind of design with like all the holes in it all over the place. But yeah, it's just, it's just a weird concept. I'm not sure if I really like it. So yeah. The box here is a pretty cool $20 box design with you see uh, in the background you can see a bank with a big hole and a bunch of gold spilling out. I don't think banks carry gold coins like that. I'm pretty sure they just have cash. But yeah, and then you have the set of course and then a Spider-Man up here with a little Spider-Man logo which is pretty cool. And I like the blue border with the webs. And then on the side here you have these uh, animated Spider-Man. I don't know what show that's from. Because uh, there are a bunch of cartoon Spider-Man shows. So let me know down in the comments if you guys know where that's from. On the back you can see uh, another shot of the set. And showcasing the play features and the webs. With the another side of the bank. I'm guessing they just like walked around to the other side. And boom here he is. Now he's stuck with the street lamps like I, meant, like I said. And yeah that's it. This is not a punch hole box. So that's good. That's good. The instructions here are medium sized. On the back we have the Wind Pirate, and we also have some ads for the 2020 Avengers sets. Uh, the only ones I have are the uh, mech right there, whoops, the Thanos mech and the Iron Man mech. I don't know why it's so out of focus, can you focus please? And I don't have any of the other ones though. And then over here we have the other Spider-Man sets and the Spider-Man mech. I have that one, I did not review it yet, uh, hopefully I'll review it sometime. And then I think that's it, yeah. So overall, while it does fit the $20 price range uh, pretty well, I don't just I don't really like the vehicle build. It just it doesn't make sense. Spider-Man doesn't need all these big vehicles. I mean I understand like maybe one small motorcycle like he originally had, but with all this other stuff, it's just a little too a little too much i mean he's not batman but the figures are pretty cool you know, like the spider girl and it's nice getting spider-man with dual molded legs that's for sure and although i don't like the doc ock design it is nice getting him here so i'll give this like a uh, probably a five out of ten i just don't like the vehicle design especially when you take the legs off it just looks uh even goofier so yeah, let me know what you guys will rate the set down in the comments below, and let me know any other Spider-Man or Marvel sets you'd like me to review, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.